Okay, what's this drill gonna do for you? It is going to provide you being done with casting, early release, however you wanna think about it, early extension, all the things that happen when you don't maintain your wrist angles. This is gonna teach you how to maintain wrist angles and more importantly, because of the drill, it's gonna teach you, without even thinking about it, how to turn your body better to get through, okay? Let's take a look. Right, I don't need to tell you what lag is, you all know what lag is, but probably not a lot of you have it. Uh, you probably have good takeaways, Maybe some good wrist hinge, but on the way down, a little cast, maybe a little early extension. Same thing, we're trying to get rid of both. So what we'll do is we're gonna utilize an old shaft and a foam noodle to get you to execute some swings where we keep the wrist angles, get some lag, and get some more speed, okay? So I've already taken the liberty of uh, cheating this out. So let me set it up. Club shaft in the ground, foam noodle on it, and listen, a foam noodle is important. You don't want to cheat this thing and try to put a, an alignment rod in there because if you hit that alignment rod, God knows what's going to happen when you break it. So what I'm going to do when I set up is I'm going to make certain that the foam noodle would be interfering with my downswing, not my takeaway. So if I take it back, like I normally do, that foam noodle is in the way. When I pull down, if I do what I always do, I'm going to hit it. As long as I get to the top and maintain my, my arm straight, wrist angles and turn through, I'm gonna miss that foam noodle and get some good distance out of the shot, okay? So, no interference on the way back, but I want it to provide interference on the way through. So let's set up. Take away. Down some. Up, down, same thing with a real shot. Killed it, man. I love this drill, I love this drill. So the reality is, foam noodle, club shaft, 30 degrees on this thing when you put it in, make sure it does not interfere with the backswing and that it does interfere if you don't do it correctly with your downswing. Now, can you do this with irons? Yes, but you cannot do it with irons on the grass. The problem is, every shot you take, if you take a divot, fingers crossed, you've got to move that ball to a new spot. If you have to move that ball to a new spot, you have to move the rod. So this drill is great on grass range for drivers, better exercise on a, excuse me, on a mat for irons. That way you can get over and over and over. So enjoy, get some lag and let me know how it goes. Hopefully this drill helped out. And if it did, do me a favor, like, subscribe, ring that bell. And also let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next video. I haven't been really good about following up on it, but this time I'll do one. So let me know what you want to see and I'll put it out next week, okay? Thanks.